we've got the X9 and the X7 by Rossi. And your, the X7 is your sort of more appropriate boot for recreational use. It's a little bit less expensive. It works. We have it kind of paired up in a package on the Zyne X. Um, you know, a skate ski is all about lateral stiffness, so any skate boot is going to have a cuff. Um, but you can definitely feel the difference between the stiffness of this cuff and what's on the X9. This is a much beefier cuff. It also has a ratcheting strap versus just a Velcro strap. So you're going to get a more refined custom type fit with this boot as well as more power to the ski. So for more competitive racing, ra you know, use racing and that kind of thing, the X9 is definitely the better choice. But for your sort of beginning skier, the X7 is a great option as well. Both of them, by the way, have Rosinol's Thermo Fit Liner, which means the lining actually has sort of heat activated foam in it. Um, obviously, if you're buying this online, we're going to ship it to you. We can't form it for you, but um, Rosinol has a tool that heats the foam up and it custom fits. Otherwise, it will actually customize on its own after a few uses just from your body heat. So that's a really nice thing. After a few times of skiing, you'll have a much more comfortable boot on your foot, and that's critical. So X9 by Rossi, X7 by Rossi, both skate boots. As far as bindings, got a few options here. For a non-NIS ski, like the Zyne X, meaning that plate isn't there, we have the R3, and you can see the screws hanging off the bottom. Those are ready to be drilled into the ski and mounted. Uh, you know, if skate bindings are typically manual, you lift up the toe, you step down, and lock it into place. Uh, but the Fisher has the NIS plate, so that works with NIS bindings, and these bindings, as I said, slide on and click into place. And we have two options. We have the Fisher Exercise Skate, and this is just sort of a basic skate binding. Uh, this is the front part. There is a heel piece as well. And we have the brand new Rodafella accelerator. This thing is so light. It, it, it's the lightest race binding in the world actually. It is really, really sleek, low profile. Um, it has a really unique clamping mechanism. This is just one piece of metal that you lift up and there's kind of got these hooks that grab the toe bar right on the outside so it gives you a real, real good contact to the ski. You pair that up with the NIS system. Another advantage of the NIS is instead of being drilled in sort of the center of the binding, this thing is clamping onto the edge, so it's a real, real tight connection to the ski. And you saw how easily that thing went on there. There's a tool provided, and that tool you slide into one of these slots, and again, you can move the binding fore and aft to the balance point, which is really nice. So that's the accelerator, and it looks really nice on the SCS skate. And I'm telling you, with the X9 boot, that is a hot race package. And for a more recreational use, the Zynex and the X3 binding, X7 boot. And if you want to save a little money and get a nicer ski, you can certainly pair up the Exercise NAS binding on the SCS ski with the X7 boot.